Researchers in the UK say they have hit a major scientific milestone. Eight babies have been born using an IVF technique that uses DNA from three people. The goal is to prevent mitochondrial disease, which is a serious condition passed down by the mothers. Anna Cunningham is following this story and joins us now from London. Anna, how does this procedure work? Morning, Crystal. Well, what we know is that this works using a third DNA that has healthy mitochondria from a donor egg in vitro. Now, we all have mitochondrial DNA, but for those with the disease, it causes organs to run out of energy. The images that you are seeing now have been released from Newcastle University. Uh, scientists there in the northeast of England have been working to eliminate it in vitro. And um, the university's scientists have been explaining exactly how it works. Take a listen. For the treatment, um, we take eggs from the patient and from a donor and we fertilise them. And around about eight hours later, we perform the technique. So we remove the nuclear DNA from the patient's egg and transplant that into the fertilised egg from a donor that's had its nuclear DNA removed. After the procedure, the embryos are left to develop on and we check them at various different time points to make sure they're developing normally. So we know that about 5,000 babies are born here in the UK each year with hereditary mitochondrial disease. And one of the lead scientists behind this research is saying that he believes it's a real game changer. This is what he says. These diseases are devastating. There are children who die from mitochondrial disease. There are adults who die from mitochondrial disease. And there are those who suffer for many years with these progressive disorders. You now have an option that allows you to have children that are genetically your own, but without the risk of passing on that mitochondrial disease. And Crystal, it is worth saying that uh, the process has actually been legal in the UK for 10 years now, but this is the first proof that it works with these eight babies born free of hereditary mitochondrial disease. Well, it is very interesting, and I'm curious what people affected by this disease are saying about it. Yeah, well, the eight um, babies, their parents have chosen to remain anonymous, but we have had some statements from them that Newcastle University has shared. Let's just show you these now. Um, the mother of a baby girl saying, um, after years of uncertainty, this treatment gave us hope and then it gave us our baby. We look at them now full of life and possibility and we're overwhelmed with gratitude, science, gave us a chance. Um, another parent saying that uh, this is a statement from the mother of baby boy saying thanks to this incredible advancement and uh, the support we've received, our little family is complete. The emotional burden of mitochondrial disease has been lifted and in its place is hope, joy and deep gratitude. Now remember as well that there will be people looking at this who have not yet chosen to have a family, uh, but it is giving them hope as well. We've been hearing from Chloe Russell. Her brother died suddenly and he had mitochondrial disease and she actually went to get tested and found out that she was a genetic carrier. Take a listen to what she says. They have now created this ab ability, this opportunity to go through mitochondrial donation that would allow me to have healthy biological children. Being given that opportunity is so incredibly important because I would love to have my own children. Eight babies being born and one on the way has created an immense amount of hope for me. Now, Crystal, there are people who are critical of this process, who are cautious about it. When the law was passed back in 2015, uh, concerns were raised then about so-called genetically modified designer babies. Scientists say that the children born this way have inherited DNA from their parents and about 0.1% from the donor woman. But any girls born through this technique are going to pass this on to their own children. So it is a permanent alteration of human genetic inheritance. But 
scientists argue that this is the first real hope of breaking that cycle of such an inherited condition. Anna Cunningham in London for us this morning. Thank you.